inspiring day so far, right? Good, that's that last talk um, in particular, all the speeches I've seen so far. So I will be quick. Um, I have a little bit of time here, and hopefully this talk kind of pulls together a lot of what we heard today and talks about how we can put it in action moving forward. Um, so let's go ahead and dive in. So in the spirit of other uh, children pictures that I saw today, um, this is how people want us to feel. They want us to feel scared. They want us to feel nervous. They want us to think that we can't amount to something. And this is what society puts on us, right? Um, we're nervous oftentimes. And even from our young age, we're thinking that this is how we're supposed to be. Even thinking of myself, not only am I black, I'm a black woman. I started in the industry young, I'm a young black woman, and I can continue to go on and on, and for some reason all of these things are equal something that you're not supposed to be, right? But thank goodness for my parents who taught me that those aspects do not equal not supposed to be successful. And it still bewilders me to this day that some people draw a logical conclusion from what you look like equates to how successful you'll be. I think that that's crazy, but of course I'm not blind. I understand that that's what a lot of society tries to do. Um, so what do we do about that, right? Instead of the nervous kid, I was curious. I wanted to think. I wanted to wonder, and I did. I wanted to grow, and I did. I wanted to keep thriving. I wanted to be successful, and I continued to do that. Um, I graduated from high school when I was 16, then I went to the number one college I wanted to go to, I was in an exclusive entertainment business program, I graduated with my master's when I was 20, I worked in entertainment tech, and then I now drive one of the most important uh, products coming out of YouTube for Google, and that was not supposed to happen, right? For some reason, that wasn't supposed to be the case if I look how I am, it doesn't add up. So what's the delta there, right? I'm sure a lot of us have similar stories. What got us from what we were supposed to end up being to instead the places that we are today? Um, so again, with the short time I have, I just want to share um, five tips to help us get on that track and remind us um, what we can do to keep pushing forward. So the first one is grow, do not blame. And this is one of the key things that I did, is that I never, I made sure to never say that, oh, the reason I didn't get that thing is it's because I'm black, or man, they, they didn't believe in me because I'm a female, or, or something like that, right? Of course, it's much easier said than done. Again, I, I'm not blind to the fact that that probably is the case oftentimes, right? Um, but I made sure to instead say, you know, what can, what's in my control that I can use to grow? Ah, oh, man, it's because I didn't study enough, or I didn't know that problem, that's why I got that grade, or oh, I didn't negotiate as hard as I could have in that meeting, that's why my salary is lower, right? So it's like, what can I do to control and continue to build and hone my skills that I can manage? Because I'm not changing, I don't know. I'm not changing, so what can I do to help change? And then when you continue to grow in those ways, then you do build upon yourself, and then the person that you still are is in fact somebody who's even better than people think that you're supposed to be in that body, right? Um, which leads me to the second tip. I think a lot of us can resonate with the fact that oftentimes, while a lot of people start right here, we start right here for some reason. People think and have lower expectations for, for us. So what we instead have to do is not only do we have to reach here by letting people know who we are and what we can do, we have to go past that oftentimes to be on the same playing field. I think it's funny oftentimes when I walk up to somebody and they go, oh, wow, you, you speak properly. Oh, you aren't you know, what I would think that a black woman is supposed to be. It's funny to have that introduction every, every day oftentimes. Um, and there are a number of stories that lead us to that. So how can we make sure in our own bodies that we accelerate past this expectation that a lot of other people start out? How do we get there? What, what do we do for that? The third one is showcase your talent unapologetically. So this is all about finding what you are great at and making sure that that's what you showcase. Don't be afraid to let people know that I have this skill and I'm going to let you know about it, right? You were all born with incredible talent and we need to bring that to the forefront. So use it, teach it, 
and that will allow people to instead know you for that domain rather than anything else, right? Instead of, I mean, when I was younger, I was the, the black girl with braids. That was what, oh, don't, don't you know that black girl with braids? But now I'm, oh, that one that knows all about user experience, or I'm that one that does this, right? So you rid of the tag that people are so used to attaching to you, and you instead get known for what you want to be known for, which is what you're great at. So that's another thing that you can do as well. And then people will start leaning on you for that rather than other things that are arbitrary. The next is take the ropes. Do not let anybody else define what your path forward is going to be based on the limitations that they think that are out for you, right? People love to do this. They love to say, oh, well, you know, you're probably going to go in this direction because you're this or because you're not this, even though they don't say it. So why don't we just let you do that, right? Or they do it based on what they think that they accomplished, so you must not be able to accomplish any more than that, right? Oh, how old are you? Oh, when I was that age, I wasn't there. So don't worry, you don't need to go that fast. Just be patient. No, I'm not, I'm not for that, right? So what you need to do is just define your path and say, okay, this is where I'm going, and this is why when I want to get there, like, help me or not, right? Are you going to be a part of this or not? Um, that really allows you not only for yourself to help define where you're going to go, but also brings you the right allies to have people on board for the people that will actually help you. The last one is just simply be you. This is the most important one, and you should not be afraid. Of course, we're all very tempted to say, oh, I need to conform to the ways that people think that I'm supposed to be, and while it's understandable, we all live in society, um, when you are yourself, that allows people to really see who you are. And then when you do succeed, it allows people to rid of the conclusions that they have and say that, oh, the person that looks like this actually can achieve this thing. That brings them out of the conclusions that they're drawing before and say, oh, it is okay, right? That helps us all, that helps the community. Um, so it's even better when you are you and then you do achieve, right? Um, so it allows people to <coughs> detach from the unconscious or conscious bias that they have and really believe in what you are pushing for and what you're known for. So free yourself not only to be who you are, who you want to love, what you want to look like, um, and most importantly, how you want to succeed and allow yourself to be that. Uh, when I look around this room, I don't see weird, I don't see, you know, something different. I see courage, 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 courage. That's all I see when I look at this room. Um, and I think that is instead the logical conclusion that leads to success, right? Being courageous. So let people who aren't really familiar with that get familiar with that. We have to be the people who are teaching. So all I have to say is just, of course, for myself, I barely scratch the surface. There's a lot more that I want to accomplish, but I wish all of us the best um, in doing so. Thank you.